women are low quality and they're trash. And yet men I, still I, literally, men literally like dedicate their entire lives trying to attract attention from women. What do you think men go to the gym no. and like buy nice clothes and the way they, you think that's just to impress other men? Like it's maybe some men, but not all men. I mean, that's the thing. It's like you have a tired idea now of what men are and what men are trying to do. Men are on their own grind set at this point. They're trying to become successful because they want to be successful. It's Absolutely. not because they're trying men to impress are, them like Poontang. The grind set that men are on are grinding their minds into the ground because they're lonely and they have no friends and no relationships. I don't know if you think the average person is like the Sigma male grinder. Like the average person is quoting about their crypto gains while they grind their 72nd game of league and they're in their parents' basement like depressed as because they have no friends. That's the average grind setter. we should be doing anything to advance gender equality. Men and women are not the same. How would you account for these differences if you were to reorganize society? Who wants to go first? Um, I, mean, I don't mind going first. Uh, okay. And I'll, okay, so I'll just say that I think it's um, a generally a good rule of thumb that most people, one of the general rule of thumb that most people would agree with is that like we, we all want like a society that is largely equal and that when people are interacting with the world around them when they leave their home or even if from the comfort of their own home we should expect that they won't be discriminated against based on something that they have like no control over whatsoever with obviously there it's not like an absolute but that is still like a general like rule of thumb we should go by awesome um, I, sure, I guess I'll go next. Um, I, I think that when we talk about like equal opportunity, I, I think that the ideal world is we want it so that everybody in society can theoretically choose to do the things that they want to do with like minimal pushback from other elements of society. And I think that needs to be the final stop. That needs to be the goal. Sometimes it feels like people use this as a stepping stone to hit like 50-50 parity in everything in society that like if 50% of doctors aren't women and 50% of doctors aren't men then we failed and I don't think that's the case I think there are probably some differences whether it's biological or whether it's biological abstracting to sociological abstracting to like societally like there, there's probably going to be some differences in how we sort ourselves we should just make it so that if people want to choose to do certain things they don't get a whole bunch of pushback for it I think okay um, I guess I'll go next. Yeah, I, I agree with Destiny, and uh, uh, which is a strange thing for me to say, but yeah, I agree with what he said. Uh, you're never going to have any sort of like equal parity. And uh, personally, I think the if you want more equality, we need more trans men in sports, trans men and women in sports. And uh, yeah, that'd be great. Sorry, I just I'm really tired. I just got done mowing my lawn, so I'm a little frazzled. So give me a minute to get my coffee and everything, and I'll get it. Okay. Get yeah. No. No here. problem. Uh, looks like Flamenco's having technical issues, so he'll be back in a moment. Um, yeah, I, I tend to agree. I think that, it, like, very obviously, um, men and women, sometimes they gravitate to different things, and I think that's completely fine. I think it's just that we need to enable people to choose what they want, I guess, uh, you know, in society and stuff like that. So, um, what was that about trans men and supports, though? You said you want more trans men in sports? Yeah, I think it's funny. I think it's funny to see women get their ass kicked in their own sports by dudes. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah I did. Cool. Sweet. There you okay. go. Hello. Yeah, I had a little bit of a uh, power outage. No problem. Uh, so, uh, Beardson just said he wants to see more trans men in sports. It's very progressive uh, of him. Um, uh, because he thinks it's funny, though. Not really for the best reasons, I guess. Um, that, is, that is the best yeah. reason. We need more levity in the world. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Flamenco, what do you think yes. about the question? What was the question? The question is... Do you think we should be doing more to advance gender equality? Men and women are not the same. How would you account for these differences if you were to reorganize society? Um, so I guess like the fundamental thing with that is, I, 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 like in an ideal world, like things would have like some sort of like equilibrium. Like I don't think that, you know, I, I don't think genuinely like you should pay people less because of like certain intrinsic values on like the same kind of job. Uh, but at the same time, I'm kind of wary of organizing with 
you know, programs that incentivize certain people based on those traits and uh, to, like, give them a little bit more of an edge in the competition. Because I think when you draw attention to those sorts of things, it leads to, like, resentment of people that would be getting that special treatment. But, uh, yeah, that's my basic position on that. I guess it would just have to be in a way where you can probably encourage through socialization, but maybe not, like, outright policy. I think socialization is a good thing to bring up. I think uh, socialization ends up being one of those last barriers that kind of prevent women from succeeding in the same places that men do. Yeah, I mean, I would say socialization is probably the biggest thing. Um, you're not going to be able to correct for different learned life experiences like by the time somebody hits college you know if if video games are heavily marketed towards young men and you know boys are playing games their entire life and by the time they get to college they've got a huge interest in computer science and stuff you're not going to be able to affirmative action that away in women like that that, that that's already kind of like set in stone at that point so yeah the socialization aspect is pretty big yep another way that socialization is big is because um you know, coaching the particular traits in the way that the women like develop through that exact period does tend to result in like them not prioritizing the same um, skills and habits and uh, directly affecting them that way. True. Cool, guys. Looks like there's nothing <laughs> to change here then. Do we have... Um, or... Where's the conservatives at? What the fuck? Stardust? Uh, there I mean, are... Like... Yeah, I, would say I mean, the biology yeah. thing, I mean, uh, the second half of the question might be a little more contentious. Like, the thing where, like, men and women aren't the same, like, how do you account for it, like, that part? Um, um, I mean, you're going to need, like, hardcore dumb fuck lefties to argue that one. Anybody that says that they're, like, just 100% the same probably has very little experience in anything in the real world, so they're not worth it. Or they're, they're not here right now. Uh, does anybody think that, that, like, men and women are 100% the same no matter what, or? No, no. I, I think that there's a very clear difference in like biological sex and, and what that does to somebody. Um, uh, uh, just so you guys know, uh, Beardson and Flamenco are being called fake conservatives right now, just so Good. you know. True. Um, I'm, just, I'm just tired. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just, I'm more, I'm more against, I guess, um, the outright uh, trying to reorganize these things through explicit policy just again because I think they kind of lead to um, Well, I guess so like here's a question like what kind of policy would be like bad? So like, I think Title IX, I think kind of dictates in schools that if you've got like a really huge male football program, you also, also have to allocate some money to like female athletic programs. I think things like that are okay. Like so that right. women have a chance to participate in NCAA sports. I think that's fine. Um, people that push for like the same pay as men and women in like soccer in um, Europe or in the United States. I think that's a little cringe. I think that's kind of dumb, but I mean, yeah, well, I guess like what are, yeah, what are things that you're opposed to? I guess we could go down on some. Um, I guess like quotas specifically for like X um, X thing has to have this amount of people to qualify for certain tax breaks. I don't know if they do that based off of um, off of like sex or something. I think they might do that in schools, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, maybe California did something pretty cringe. I don't know if it's still a thing or not where they required like every corporate board has to have at least one woman on it or something. That, yeah. that seemed kind of cringe. Like, so God, it's probably not. Yeah, but. Because mm. then it just leads to sort of like a tokenization effect and people, I mean, like if, you're, if your attempt is to try to like normalize relations between the sexes, you're just going to like drive a more deep wedge when people are like, oh, well, she only got this position because literally it's state law that she have, that our company have a position like that filled by somebody like her. Yeah. I don't know. I, like I, it, a lot of this stuff, just I think, kind of has the opposite effect on a social level. Where like ideally we probably shouldn't be, you know, uh, uh, treating women like shit. But uh, you know, it kind of leads to resentment. Yeah. Yeah, cringe. <laughs> women should be treated like shit. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know what to. What like women should be like treated like shit? What, yeah, I, I mean, it's pretty yeah, self-explanatory. Yeah. I think. <laughs> You can explain a little bit more. No, I mean, uh, I mean, like, I, I, here's the thing: it's like it's hard to like argue at this point because it's like you, you know the lefties are like, well, you know, 
have pretty reasonable takes here. Like, yeah, we don't really want like quotas or anything like that. So it's like, uh, okay. I mean, ide- like in an ideal society, women wouldn't be working at all. They'd be staying at home, raising kids, you know, yada, yada, et cetera. But that's not going to happen. Like, you, you know, you can't even afford to do that. No man can hardly afford to do that anymore. So like, wait, why, what, what if, what if there's like a woman that like wants to work or do something? Why does she, why ideally is she always staying at home, taking care of kids? Obama. Well, because that's what she's supposed to do. Like that's what she's biologically programmed to do. I mean, if she wants to work, I mean, yeah, it's fine, I guess, but I don't know why you want to either. I, like, that's the thing. It's like with women, it's like all about this, like female empowered dude. Like if I could just like sit at home and clean and cook and take care of kids, if I was a woman, that's exactly what I would do. I don't know like, why you've you never so had like a, work. De- you've never had like a desire or a drive or a dream to accomplish or achieve anything in your life. You're, you just want to, I mean, I have, it. okay. So but if I was what, a woman, I wouldn't, <laughs> Why? women why? don't have hobbies. You don't think women can have any drives or desires to do or accomplish anything? That's just a that's woman's, a man thing. A woman's drive and desire ultimately desires from like getting attention from a man. And, w- and, li- and men, like even red pillars, literally dedicate their whole lives trying to get attention from women, right? Well, isn't it Dave Chappelle no. that said if men could fuck in a cardboard box, they wouldn't buy homes? It's probably true, right? Like mm. the test, like what is it? What like the test of a man is literally a woman. Like men are obsessed with what women think about them. How no. could you? Yeah, absolutely. What do you mean? No. no, 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 absolutely not. Maybe, maybe like 20 years ago that was the case, but now it's not because women are low quality and they're trash. And yet why men I, still literally, I, men literally like dedicate their entire lives trying to attract attention from women. What do you think men go to the gym no. and like buy nice clothes and the way they act? You think that's just to impress other men? Like it's maybe some men, but not all men. I mean, that's the thing. It's like a, you have a tired idea now of what men are and what men are trying to do. Men are on their own grind set at this point. And they're trying to become successful because they want to be successful. It's Absolutely. not because they're trying men to impress are, some like poontang. The grind set that men are on are grinding their minds into the ground because they're lonely and they have no friends and no relationships. I don't know if you think the average person is like, the Sigma male grinder. Like the average person is quoting about their crypto gains while they grind their 72nd game of league and they're in their parents' basement like depressed as fuck because they have no friends. That's the average grind setter. That's, well, I mean, now, now we're arguing two different things, right? You're talking about guys who are like going to the gym and going to careers and, now you're, and then you just wanna switch it over to like some like loser like playing league in his basement all day. It's like, well, yeah, there's obviously gonna be anomalies and everything, but as a modern man nowadays, doesn't give a shit what a woman care, like thinks or cares about, or at least a you know normal man. Yeah, there's no way you can necessarily know if that's true. That's true. Yeah, well, I'm, no I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm so curious. What so in your life, like a successful man mm-hmm. is just like a guy that is just on his own with a big business, like. I mean, you know, ideally, he has a wife and children, right? But he's not becoming successful for the sole purpose of attracting a wife or children. He's doing it because I'm he, curious like, with how successful and... pickup artists and like all these like high value man oh, uh, oh, YouTube man. shit. Oh, no, wait, wait, just listen, hear me out. Hear me out. Go ahead. No, go ahead. With how popular those things are, yeah. why do you think that one of their like main me- uh, messages to these men is to like learn how to not give a fuck and like don't give a fuck, like don't care what the women thinks? Like, yeah. why do they have to teach them this thing? Well, what do you, I mean, like, what do you mean? Because you like, said, like, no, you said, it, like, like, I mean, like, men, are we going to use, like, pick up, are you, are you, you, you to care about, like, what women think is, like, what you, so. I, I think if you're watching a pickup artist, you probably do care, but it's, you're acting as if every man watches, like, pickup artists, <laughs> like, that's I mean, No, no, I'm not saying, I never said every man, I'm just saying that these guys are wildly popular, and that there's a huge amount of, like, the male population that watches this shit and consumes it. Well, and that's mostly, like, right. a, a thought that's that's mostly Indians, dude. Beardson's more MGTOW. Big That's big the kind okay. of stuff that that. Well, that that's really, yeah, I'm just really saying. I'm just saying, like the idea that like men don't care about what women think is just stupid. No, I, I think I think it's. I mean, I don't think it's entirely true, but I think you're seeing it more and more every day. With, with each passing day, it's becoming more and more true. Because again, like, did you look at the dating pool nowadays? It's mostly like fat single moms, right? Like, or OnlyFans whores. Like, men aren't attracted to that. Well, what is so the dating aren't... pool for men? Like, schizoid, overweight dudes that are like playing video games all day that don't have hobbies or successful careers. Like, how can you only blame women on that? It goes the door swings both ways. Uh, that's uh, not entirely true. That's an overgeneralization. Uh, wait, wait but yours men. was most of the, but... most, <laughs> No, mine's not, dude. It honestly isn't. I opened up Tinder for the first time back in like February and I'm like swiping. It's like single mom, single mom, fat single mom, fat single mom, single moms. It's that's all that there is out there. You're, okay. you're, on a, you're on an app for hookups. Yeah, that's what you're going to find on Tinder because girls that are able to date guys aren't going on Tinder to look for dudes to date, of course. Like, what do you think okay, the stock on but, Tinder looks like for women? It's all like fuck boys and fucking random losers. No offense. Or just people who fake their fucking profiles. Yeah, yeah. everybody's an yeah. entrepreneur now. And honestly, I, you can't say with absolute certainty that that's not your algorithm. Maybe you just suck so much 
that Tinder is throwing you these. Well, not people. even that. I, like, not even making it personal. I just like like oh. I, I, one thing that is irritating to me. But when I talk to like very progressive people or very right leaning people, is they're so keen to only blame the other side. Like people on the people that are very woke or very progressive will shit on men for a whole bunch of different things, failing to acknowledge that like women empower men to act like fucking morons ninety nine percent of the time. But then when I talk to conservatives, they'll blame like, oh well, women are fat and lazy. And they don't do anything. It's like, well, what is the average man doing? They're doing fuck all, dude. If I had a fucking dollar for every time some conservative woman is talking about how turned off she is from the conservative movement because every conservative guy is some fucking loser trash guy that has no house no responsibility no job no career is out of shape like it's not like there's this huge stock of these really well-trained <laughs> conservative men that are working hard out there that like just can't find a good woman like everybody's I, I kind of fucking up you know i just think it's funny that your source is a fucking woman that's alone because <laughs> it's probably a conservative woman on top of that like oh boy yeah wait let me let me fucking write an, an essay and cite her and I'm sure it'll get published. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah as opposed to a woman, to, a woman opposed complaining about about the dating pool because she's some fucking stuck up whore. Wow. For, oh, first man. of all, it's not going to be one person. It's going to be circles. every woman. Number two, you're literally citing Tinder as saying there's a lot of fat people that are losers on it. Yeah, no shit. Girls don't have to go on Tinder to get sex. If they're on Tinder to get sex, you're already selecting from like a very specific group of people, my dude. Hey, hey, no, that's fair because uh, uh, I'm not really too experienced in all this stuff. The dating game is, is the gate. The dating game has changed quite a bit since the last time. I've been in it so I was just you know getting on there just to see what it's like and it wasn't pretty but I mean you're right yeah maybe tinder isn't necessarily the best place to look but even then dude I look outside dude I've I've <laughs> I've been on like like three dates or so with with various women so far I've been talking to girls and things like that and it's just fucking terrible out there you got girls talking about their fucking only fans and I'm like ah, it's like it's disgusting man and yeah. if you look Is that at something like, that you commonly encounter on your dates yeah but like isn't well tinder, no I mean I'm not going on dates tinder is gonna girls, be but, since Tinder's going to be predisposed towards hookups, like, they already know that the people looking at Tinder are going to be horny, so of course they're going to be bringing up their OnlyFans, because it's already, like, prime advertising space. Yeah, and you know what? I think it's great. I appreciate you op opening up. It shows that you're comfortable with us to open up about all these, like, traumatic experiences that you're having with all these OnlyFans girls on dates and stuff. Uh, I think yeah. It's good. I'm not opening up about anything. I'm just telling you my experience. I don't know. Like, do, we, do you have a problem or something? Like, do you want to? No, no, make, just wanna, uh, no. I mean, if you want to make this personal, we can make this really fucking personal. You look like a fucking carbon copy. Literally, I mean, I'm they got dude. It's, it's, copier, it's not dude. that deep. Yeah. It's not that deep, man. I mean, yeah. I know. It's just it's fine. We can banter. I mean, I didn't okay, know. I was, okay, good, I was good. To, yeah, let's banter. Then don't cry about yeah. it. Let's just banter. Yeah, absolutely, we will. Cool, cool. Good job, guys. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I don't know if I would be able to like, uh, like it, on on like the flip side of it. I I think that um I don't think I would be like super enthusiastic of dating a woman that didn't have like any sort of goals or ambitions. You know what I mean? Like obviously there would hopefully be a, a shared goal of like, hey, you know, I want to uh, marry you and have kids and stuff like that. If you know, it's something that we both agree on. But like outside of that, she has to have her own drive too. I would say because like you know, I I want like a a person. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, cool. Good luck having a nanny raise your kids then, man. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, ideally, like, if we both agree on, like, child stuff, too, then, you know, it'd be like, hey, after, you know, the kids are, you know, going to school, if you want to pursue your uh, passions, too, or something, I mean, I don't know. I think it's possible. I mean, good luck even finding a woman that has passion, too. That's another thing. Like, <laughs> I already have, I, I'm, already, I'm already set on that one, thank goodness, but I don't know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's I don't know I I I think that um diamond in a fucking coal mine there. <laughs> why do you think women should be at home? Like why do you think that's that's what they're meant to do? I mean like what do you mean like you literally like give birth and you have children you have to breastfeed etc 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 like it's like biologically programmed that a woman's supposed to raise the child right like and then well for a certain amount of time yeah but then after that okay well what's this, what's the certain amount of time then? Like, well, I mean, you, every, you you like, can, like months, multiple like, people can raise children. It's not like you're not incapable of doing that if you're a guy, right? Right. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that the guy needs to be like totally absent or whatever, right? I mean, otherwise we, you know, look at the black community, for instance. But, um, you know, like that's that's a primary woman's job. It's, you know, that's why you know she's empathetic. You know, she's sincere. That's what women are, are programmed and built to do, um, and they should be the primary caretakers for women, or for children. Programmed in what way? Like, it's a biological essentialism. Since yeah, they can no, get no, I know. I wanted to. Yeah, but it's, yeah, yeah. I, I know that it, that's what he was saying. I wanted him to 
insane. Well, if you know what I'm saying, then I'm not, like, not going to bother elaborating. Like, you know okay, what yeah, I'm so like. you think that it, there's like a biological wiring in specifically women that uh, they are everything that you just listed, right? Is, yeah. 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 I yes, I agree with the thing that I just said. Yes. Okay. Why do you like? But where does that come from? Like, why do you think that? Like, why? Where did that idea come from for you? I mean, it's like evolutionary, right? Like, about thousands of years, that's always been the case. I mean, if I, to, talking so. about like evolutionary thing, like couples raise their kids, like the parent, the male parent had as present of a role as the mother did, right? Like, if you're going to talk about the roles of the mother, like raising the kids, like the par- the father has just as much role and like importance in the kid's life as the mother does. Like this idea that um, it. The Not idea that there's siblings. something locked in biology with regards to like women being the one that stays at home mm. is baked out of like human culture. It's not something they baked out of like the biology, right? There's nothing specifically unique to women that sees that they're like hardcore, or sorry, hardwired to be the way that you thought, so all the things you listed. But they are. I mean, that's that is how it's been. Like, I don't know why we're doing this like historical revisionism here, where it's like no, women, it's not like women historical women revisionism. Like, home, we, lo- yeah. we know more about the, the, the sex differences between male and female brains. Uh-huh. Don't really have anything in there. Like we've sequenced the human genome. Like we, we know that. Oh yeah, there's no the, differences in the human brain between the male and the female. You're right. <laughs> no, no, there is. There is. I'm, no, 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 no. You misheard me. No, no. Listen, I said these. Okay, let me re- try to restate it the sex differences which means like like yes they exist they're they're there of the male and female brain are they don't have something that specifically highlights like oh yeah here here's where like women are like predisposed to being like baby makers and like home care and like all, all this shit like baby factories whatever like there are sex differences in the human brain but everything you're listing doesn't exist like it's not there Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. We, we've mapped the entire human genome. We've examined all that. So you're right. Yeah. No, clearly thousands of years of history are different than uh, some fucking scientist mapping a brain and being like, well, I don't see it. So yeah, you got me. I mean, I think it's okay to say that maybe women might be able to do a little bit of a better job, but the idea that they belong there, or I mean, like clearly there are women that prefer to do other things, right? Like, I don't know. Like seems- there might be men who prefer to take care of kids. Yeah, maybe, yeah. but like that's an anomaly. You know, I mean, this, I don't think that I don't think that should be the rule of thumb. Well, yeah, Mostly, but the whole, I think I guess, the whole point is that there shouldn't be like a rule of thumb, like let people do what they want, sort themselves out. If you want like a nice tradcon wife that sits at home all day, takes care of the kids, it's fine. If you want a wife that doesn't want to take care of kids, like that's fine. Like let people do what they want. No. Yeah, but the but the, pro- the problem with that is just like now we have a generation of kids being raised by nannies, and that's that that's a bigger issue I think than just like women not being able to I don't know go and play CEO and be miserable. Yeah, I mean, I, I can agree with that. I think that there should be strong, like, uh, social institutions from the government to help with uh, times when the parents need to be around the kid for those, like, vital times. Uh, yeah. That's fair. So, yeah, that could be the dad, and the mom could keep on working. The dad could get the compensation. The dad could... The mom could keep on working. Cool. The, Problem uh, there's, like, also, I guess, like, the social thing of maybe not, like, be home to raise the kid, but also, like to like have an expectation of having the kid specifically because you know men and women have very different like time frames in which they can actually produce children um you know women have like a a much smaller window compared to men so like if a person if a woman like focuses on a career path like as their means of fulfillment then they kind of have to get get started like super early and they might not have enough time to you know actually have kids once that window you know is open that might not necessarily be the best thing to like encourage on a societal level. I think it just kind of depends. I think the issue that you run into is that to make women like the ultimate baby machines, like you necessarily kind of have to fuck their life up a lot. Because I think mm-hmm. that as we've noticed, as people have like the opportunity to choose to do more and more things, like the tradcon woman life like really sucks. Um, your opportunities are limited. You're enslaved to a single, sometimes schizoid man. Um, you, you don't have much like prospect in life aside from your family. Uh, you don't have much drive or hobbies. Or anything. Like it's just it, like it kind of sucks. So when women are given the opportunity to choose otherwise, uh, you know, sometimes they do. So I, I think that decision should be somewhat respected. Like the idea that you would make the same demands of a man to do anything. Um, 
like it's inconceivable, right? Like, oh, I'm 19 or 20, I'm gonna like take off the next like 18 years of my life to raise a kid and do nothing else in the meantime. I think for a lot of men, it would drive them fucking crazy. And I think women given the opportunity to choose otherwise, like start to realize the same thing. Like a lot of the things that we call like women's roles or women's responsibilities are really just things that suck shit. There's like, there's very little upside to it. I think you're like overselling this whole idea of like the pursuit of happiness too, though. It's like you you seem to think that like men are just like out and free and able to do whatever they want. They're pursuing their passions. Like, no, dude, let's be real. Most dudes end up growing up and becoming like life insurance salesmen. Like, okay, like this isn't like some like glorious life that they're going out and living here. They're not, they're not like building a, a business and like buying a gold plated yacht or anything like that. They're out there doing a job that they fucking hate so they can provide for their family. I mean, and that's the thing. It's like, we're, we're if anything, I'm trying to save women from this fate of like total mediocrity and going to a job that you fucking hate, you know? I don't buy that. I, people say that all the time, like, oh, I'm just trying to save women from things that suck. But that's not true. I, there is a certain freedom. Even if you do have a shitty job, it's better than being a slave to somebody with a shitty job. It's better than having nothing, right? And I think at the end of the day, there is some intrinsic pride, even for women, for being able to take care of yourself. And I think that it does feel good to have that freedom or that liberty to be able to do what you want and, and not be solely reliant on another person to provide for everything for you. I mean, what do you what do you mean though? Like you're talking about like slavery at this point. Well, like what cleaning and cooking is slavery now. Like let's be real here, dude. Like oh, you have to work, cook and clean maybe two two three hours a day, raise the kids, and then women are free to do whatever they want. If they do have passions, they can pursue them while they're at home, take care though. of children. They can't. Are you kidding they, me? Come they on. They can't. No, I mean, if you're if you're taking care of multiple children, that's like a full time job, right? And uh, and then you're completely financially dependent on the person who has the shitty job so they already yeah. you, you know you're kind of like beholden to their wants as well and it, it's not a nine oh, to five yeah. being a parent is not just a nine to five either there's shit outside mm -hmm. of the nine to five hours that you're gonna have to do and like emergencies and like all these things right like unexpected like things where we're with a job there's, there's predictability monotony no, but you guys have this like totally like weird idea of like parenthood to me. Like it's it's very bizarre, and I guess it makes sense that you guys are lefties because it's like you guys seem to think that like raising children is like some chore. It's just, like some slavery. It's awful. It's like no, it is one of the best things you can do in the world, man. Like I don't know, I don't know why you guys why like you look at it as. A, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, wait. Let's let's okay, hold on. Let's think for a second. Okay, raising a children, raising a child is like a magical best thing in the world for a little bit, okay? But it's monotonous. Doing that for years and years and years, it's not like you wake up with your eight-year-old and you're like, oh my God, I'm seeing you again for the first time. It's so beautiful. That's, that's not how that works, right? Yeah, it's magical when they first pop out and you get to hold your kid, but after two weeks of waking up every four hours to like feed, burp, and change them, that will start to wear on you. Like, I don't know where you get this idea that it's like a magical experience every time, that mom gets to change another poopy diaper or something. But yeah, but dad's changing poopy diapers too. I mean, like you act, again, you act as if it's just like oh, like oh, only the mom is doing it, and also too, like an eight year old. Like, what do you have to really do with an eight year old? You, you know, it's well, if not, it's a single they, kid, you have, you have to keep them entertained. You've got to maintain their homework. You've got to help them with school and shit. You've got to drive them to and from. Like, you've got to like yeah. entertain them during the night, unless do you want to take them from yeah. iPad. Yeah, what, yeah, they take their, these are high energy fucking things. They need a lot of attention. Yeah, yeah but most they of the time do. they're they gonna be in school. Do. They're not in school yeah, most of the time. They're no, in school they're... when you're working, okay. and then they come home at like three or four o'clock, and then you well, got no, a long I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the mother, right? The mother. She sends them off to school. She has eight to three. She can do whatever she wants. Yeah, but like, what can well, you but do? She's running the household. She also has errands to run, cleaning, all that sort of stuff. Maybe like setting up things, like get stuff. Yeah, or majority the of the time, or something. Not, yeah. window. They're not like, and yes, then yeah. You know, Okay, yeah, no, it's it, you're right. It's totally terrible. Nobody should procreate ever. It's, it's awful. Not, no one is saying that. You're like, like how, why not have like a good faith engagement with the topic? I'm just saying that like when your life is locked into doing one thing, and then like like if you're a woman and you got like a three year old and your husband kind of sucks, it's like your life is fucked. You're not going back to fucking school. You probably don't have the money for it. You can't get a real job. Your hours are going to be severely restricted based on when your kid is out of school, and holidays, and everything. Like so, and oh, no. you're not like dating around because now you're married and you've got a kid. Like you're just like fucked. You're just stuck there, right? That that's something oh. that. I just think it's like it's funny that your concept of like happiness is like dating around, going to school, and getting a job. Like, oh man, these things well, sound mean, awesome. Yeah. Well, no, and it's funny What's that your all? concept of happiness is having a woman that's essentially enslaved you with no opportunity or option to do anything but be that, right? Like, I mean, you can play the game both ways. I'm just saying that, like, as a man, you don't understand what it's like to be captive to somebody. You always have the freedom to leave. Men can walk out of relationships. They have an easier time letting go of their kids. They have an easier time finding more work. They've got an easier time being financially independent. Like, they have less responsibility 
responsibilities generally. They have less emotional or social baggage by being like a single dad versus a single mom. Like, I mean, you can laugh at all you want, but that's that's the reality of this lived situation is that men in relationships tend to have a lot more going for them than women in relationships because men are, when men are in relationships, the woman empowers you to live whatever life you want. You can still do your career. You can have a house. You can have a social life. When you're a woman in a relationship, you are existing there to power your family and to power your husband to do what he wants. It's a fundamentally different thing. Okay, but the the whole thing is, is like you're what you're arguing here is that like things that shouldn't even be happening to begin with. It's like whole idea, like well, a woman should be like like a man's like free to leave, but like we don't. Like that's the thing. Women initiate most divorce anyways. So like clearly, it's not stopping women already from you know going and and, and splitting off and doing whatever they want, right? Like so, this is like a, a, a nonsen like nonsensical argument here. Like wait, wait, this wait, whole who, idea. Who, who, are the, who are the majority single parents? Other women, yeah, yeah. So, what do you mean, women? That's the family courts, dude. That's not because like men don't want to raise the kid. Yeah, no, it's because hold the courts will trend very it's heavily because, in the woman's because, favor. No, it's because men don't want to raise the kids. It's oh yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, a, a lot of yeah, men no, don't bullshit. even. A lot of men don't even seek out custody. Yeah, they're just like bounce, yeah. right? These people aren't paying child yeah. support. These people don't want yeah, to act. When it does life. go to the when it does go to the family court situation, generally courts, at least modern courts anyway, have typically ruled in favor of the uh, the mother. Yeah, and being in the back of a plane will give you a, like a 0.01% chance higher surviving than being in the front of the plane when it crashes from 35,000 feet. I don't think it's, there more, is, than, I think it's there, more than 0.1 though. I think it's like a there pretty are, noticeable difference. No, no. The, the massive disproportionate disparity representation of single dads versus single moms is not because of family courts. There are issues mm. in family courts for sure. I'm not going to deny you there. And throughout the whole judicial mm. system between men and women, there are issues. But the vast majority of the time is because women have a greater biological attachment to their kid because if they get pregnant, they literally have it inside of them for nine months. And because two, women are the ones that give birth. So if the man leaves before the woman gives birth, like like that's it's not a family court issue. That's I understand well, what you're saying. Like, it might, it, 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 sounds, might also be the, um, it might also be like the so societal expectation to like turn it back around on the soul thing is that it's you know uh, we as a society probably view women as just the default better caretakers and maybe that might be why um well vast i think i think it's a majority of men it comes even. out that within way these it, within these divorces majority of the time men just don't seek out custody period like that's at least from what i if i'm recalling correctly uh majority of the time men just don't seek custody of their children and then if they do seek it i think they are granted like joint custody like 50% of the time. I could be recalling that mm -hmm. incorrectly, but. Yeah. I don't know, it just, it sounds like to me, women really like raising kids, so I don't really see what the issue is here. And through that joint custody, there's also probably like the expectation of the father, because more than likely they were already the like main breadwinner of the house is gonna pay some form of child support. So I, know, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily know that like, the men aren't going to be like, economically fucked if they opt out of the relationship either. I, when you're a man and you're in a relationship, you don't have to make sacrifices to your career. That's the reason why the woman stays at home. That's why men are always, that's why alimony. Uh, that's not, no, what? No, no, that's definitely not true. That's definitely not true. There's Hold on, wait, like, what do you disagree with that? Because what I'm saying is absolutely true. What do you oh, mean? Oh, there's like multiple, there's multiple jobs that like require travel and all these other things that may, like require you to spend time for your family, away from your family. Yeah, so how many stories wanna, like, do you know about dads that like travel away for work or like go to conferences and stuff? Like that, that's the whole point of the woman being at home to take care of the family so that the man is able to yeah. do that. Wait. Right, yeah, right. But, but this whole idea that like being like you being have married to, doesn't to restrict, restrict your, your career, career is, like, are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. Well, no, like, to, be, to progress oh, okay, your career, Jesus. you kind of have to do that. Hold on, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm. <laughs> I'm not trying to be condescending. I, I don't know the yeah, ages no, no. here. The whole reason in relationships where the woman stays home is to empower the man to pursue his career to the fullest. That's the whole reason. That's where all the stereotypes of like, dad came home from work, he doesn't want to talk to the kids, he just wants mom to have everything done. Dad's traveling away for the weekend to go and fucking work. Like men don't make career sacrifices typically, maybe in exceptional circumstances, but typically for the family. The woman is there to empower the man to continue to work. That's why after divorces, that's why women are the ones to pursue alimony because they've had to forego any relationship. They've allowed the man or any career and they've allowed the man to build his career off the back of like the wife supporting the family. And that's why they seek like some sort of redress there after a relationship ends. Like, right. You know, I'm, I'm I'm saying that there are people though that like opt out of you know career opportunities because they want to spend more time with their family though is what it's I. it's possible like, sure you yeah. could like you don't go for partner in a law firm you just do something different right. or you don't go for yeah th there might be some but in general men are empowered to follow their careers or the person right. that's working is because the other person's willing to stay home kai is here 
Well, well I guess it also it, might be it might tie again to like social ex, uh, social expectations that like you want to accrue as many resources and thus make the sacrifice to, like not spend time with your family. Maybe it's like, hey, we should probably encourage people to uh, you know if you if you want to opt out of that and spend time with your family. I don't know. 